And one of the things we're interested in is what can we do in our programs or people watching this, you know, who are, who are teaching college or whatever, what, what can we do um, when we're doing, say, project-based uh, learning with students, what can we do that would take advantage of things that you've learned from hacker school, right? I mean, how can we do something that's, um, you know, is, is less structured or gives students more autonomy or, you know, can take advantage of the, the diversity we have in the students and things like that. So, you know, uh, I don't expect you to have all the answers to that, but, but um, I'm curious if you have any thoughts on it. And also, even if you don't, I'd be curious to see what things you've learned work and what things you've learned don't work for your years of running hacker school. Because I know you've learned a lot of things and you've changed a lot about how the school works. So, you know, for example, can you start with any, what, what is something that you learned, this just was a bad idea and we had to change it and it works much better afterwards, right? You know, so uh, I think those are, you know, what have you learned from running hacker school? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Um, I feel like um, this is a tricky question for me because um, in many ways the things that you get to work on at Hacker School um, don't really have many real world constraints on them. Um, and that means that, uh, for example, I, I'm working on an implementation of Git at the moment to properly understand how Git works. Um, and I'm writing in JavaScript because that's the language that I'm sort of most comfortable in. But th this project is completely useless as far as the wider world is concerned. It's terrible, you know, I mean, it's a terrible imp implementation of something that already has a very fine implementation. Um, but I'm just doing it purely for my own edification. So I feel like I'm sort of in a little vacuum here of, of sort of, sort of, sort of uh, I don't know, paradise or so. Um, so I think Nick is better to talk about this. Well, I, I spend most of my time just thinking about all the ways we screw up. So um, I'm not going to that. <laughs> uh, I mean, so well, uh, I actually, actually, just just to respond to to Mary's point, I, I actually think what you're doing isn't worthless at all. And in fact, you know, my, my advisor in graduate school, Dan Friedman, that is very much how he teaches everything. Hmm. You know, if you want to learn how a scheme works, you write a scheme interpreter in Scheme, right? And there are a million scheme implementations, and they're very high quality, optimizing compilers for Scheme. Right, so why write a little scheme interpreter so you'll understand how it's actually working, right? So yeah. writing a really bad version of Git in JavaScript is an awesome thing to do because you'll learn the ideas and the algorithms, right, in a way that you wouldn't if you just took Git. I mean, that's you know, that's uh, yeah. So from a learning standpoint, I actually think that's awesome. 